Hi viewers, I'm just at a former RAF base at the minute and I just thought I'd show you some, some of the old buildings that are still remaining. This is all earmarked for development so I don't know how long all of this is going to be here for. But this base was used by the Canadians in the Second World War. And they were flying Halifaxes I believe from here. But here's some of the outbuildings. This, this building here is still used as a domestic property. And then there's one of the old Nissan huts. And further up here, hopefully we'll be able to get to see one of the hangars and the runways. But it's still used, just storage now. All the outbuildings are still associated with it. And then just round this next corner, there's another one of the hangars. Uh, it's even got the old um, War Ministry fencing. It's all there still. All this is just storage. Um, there's the old concrete aprons just over there. You see where the cabs used to be. Then the road, it was there. This base opened in 1941. And then for the duration of the war and then in 1946 it closed where the gatehouse used to be you can see the uh, concrete plinth i'm stood on one now there's another concrete plinth there that used to house a building uh, but most of it's been demolished there's a little outbuilding here that i just want to show you just there let's check that one out aha We've got a doorway. Little door handle. building they've just got there's odd, odd little scatterings of evidence that this used to be a busy place watch out for the bushes there you can see another concrete base there a smashed up chimney pot this air force base at Pocklinton was used by the Canadian Air Force and the Royal Air Force Flying out here was Halifax and Wellington bombers from 1941 to 1946. Just looking around now, there's more evidence of what was once here. Uh, that was that was the main road in. Um, yeah, there's just little mounds everywhere where things have been demolished and left. The main guardhouse would have been here. Then little barrack quarters. There's lots of areas where there's lump like piles of bricks and the really old ones as well. Look at this one over here. Hartley and Co from Castleford. I'm just down at the other side of the airfield, down near the gliding club, and there's a memorial here for the Royal Air Force and the Royal Canadian Air Force from the war. There was two squadrons based here. There's 102 Salem Squadron and 405 Vancouver Squadron. The Vancouver was the Royal Canadian Air Force Squadron. Um, and they were both from different bomber commands, but they both flew from this airfield. And this is just a memorial for them. For the food and drink enthusiasts, the World's Gliding Club have got their own cafe bus. So they've got a mobile cafe. And then they've got the main clubhouse as well. So if you're interested in gliding, that's the place to go. There's another view there of one of the old hangars for the Halifaxes and Wellingtons from the two squadrons that were based here during the Second World War. Now, I'm just at the side of the road now, at the base of one of the runways. But here we've got um, one of the underground... Underneath here, there's a high-pressure fuel pipeline. And that goes to the... What that would have gone to the Air Force base, they still use it for the glider club. 
but there's another sign for it there. Then it goes off to the glider club over there. Some friends of mine at IKS Exploration have done a full video on this and I'll put the link in the description for it. It's down at the base of one of the runways now and you can, there's down there you can see some old signs of a building. There's an old telegraph pole there laid down and a big lump of concrete from a previous, previous building. Just at the base of one of the runways now, you can see that behind me. They started off as grass runways but then they put concrete on them to land heavier bombers. There we go, there's one of them. There's another one that ran in that direction and then the glider club have got two grass runways which run parallel to the to the old concrete ones. But there's no flying today. There we are. That is the glider club and that is the former RAF and RCAF Pocklinton. And there's one of the old uh, hangars in the background. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll be back with more content. Thank you very much. Bye bye.